everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your low impact cardio workout. So this workout will get your heart rate up without using any jumping or bouncing exercises. All our movements will be low impact, easy on the joints. This workout is great for beginners, whether you're new to it or getting back into it, or also great for people who are coming off of an injury, or maybe you just want a lighter day of cardio. So take your time, work to your own level, especially if you're a beginner. I'll give you options within the exercises to take them up or down a level. And if at any point you need a break, just stop the video and take a break. All right, let's do it. So we're gonna start just by marching. We're just gonna roll through those shoulders to the back and take them to the front. Breathe and then big deep breath in and out. One more. And just so we're ready, we're just gonna do a couple rolls through the back. So we're just doing a quick little warm up. You can always get more on your own if you need to. We're just making sure everything is loose and warm even though we won't be doing any high stress exercises. One more, bring it up, and just do small little torso rotations. Doesn't have to be big, just moving hips and shoulders through the torso, and just little reaches across and over the head, and back to your marching. Okay, so we're marching. Again, you can go slow, you can go fast, it doesn't matter, work to your level. We're just glad you're moving. So, if you want, we're gonna add those arms. Almost as if you're running, we're just getting the arms pumping, bringing the knees high if you can. And again, if you're just this slow, totally fine. Doesn't matter, the important thing is that you're moving. Work to your level. So we're here, just breathing, marching, and then let's take it to a little bit of high knees. So we're just bringing them up. So a couple of options. If you just wanna tap, if you can't get those knees all the way up, totally fine, or bring them up. And if you can get them just to here, or really bring them to the chest, what that's gonna do is engage more abs. So any of those options work. Just little tap, knees up small, or knees up high. And if you want, you can really get those arms high to low. So we're gonna be adding arm movements throughout these movements to make sure, one, that we're working those arms, so we're getting full body work and toning, but also that adds to the heart rate. So if something feels like too much, you can always take the arms out and it'll bring that heart rate down. Good, couple more, three, two, and one. So let's do a little step touch. So just start just the legs, and you can go slow or fast, doesn't matter. And then let's add the arms, just little pulls. So you can keep it right at your waist, or if you want, take them high. Pull those elbows back. Again, work to your own speed. Make sure you're breathing. If you need a break or water at any point, go ahead and get it. And then if this is feeling good, let's take the hands up. So that's just gonna get even more cardio and toning of the arms. Breathe, couple more, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so let's just tap those feet out, rest the arms for a second. Hopefully you're feeling your heart pumping, I know I am. Make sure you're breathing. So just gentle taps, and then reach across. Reach, reach, so you're really stretching across. Getting the arms working. But again, increasing the cardio. Just tap, tap. And then if that feels good, take it over your head. So reach, reach. Great work, guys. This is serving as a stretch too. That's why we did this motion in the beginning. And you can try to reach out a little further with those arms and legs to get a little flexibility work too or just keep it small, up to you for four, three, two, good. So let's bring it back center, we're gonna step it out. So step and in, step and in. So start here, and then if you want, add some arms. We're gonna raise the elbows and down, elbows and down. So you can keep it nice and slow, 
or you can take it up a little on speed. Up to you. And you can bend those knees a little bit so it's a little bit of a half squat or just keep it center. Make sure those knees are soft, they're not locked out, but don't feel like you have to add the squat. But you can, it's just a little mini squat. That's feeling good with the arms. Let's take them up, we're gonna do a little fly. Elbows in, feel that heart rate increasing. Doing great guys, breathe. See, we don't need to be jumping to get that heart rate up. And there's so many different ways. And we'll go four. Three, two, go ahead and relax, march it out. And then let's take those steps to the back. So we're just tapping back, tapping back. Looks like this. Small little tap, you decide how fast or slow you wanna go. And if we want, let's add the arms. It's like a little bicep curl. So we're squeezing, toning those arm muscles, but also getting that heart rate up. And breathe. You want, you can take those bicep curls high. So towards the ears, breathe and step slower, fast. And we'll go four and three, two, and one. And let's just keep those taps back. We're gonna switch gears, we're gonna add the back of the arms a little toning. So I'm here, my elbows come up and I'm pushing back, so it's that tricep kickback. So we're toning the back of the arms. So place, especially as women, we really like to tone up those muscles. Push. So watch me, I'm keeping my chest up. What I don't wanna do is round in that lower back putting pressure there, I wanna keep it up. Elbows are up, push to the back. And we'll go four and three, two, and one, good, so march it out. And let's just get hands behind the head, a little elbow to knee. So watch me, I'm going here to here. Now, you don't have to touch. If you just wanna do that little tap, like we did in the beginning, and if you wanna take the arms out, just get a little rotation here. But if you can, think elbow to knee, don't worry if you can't actually touch it, but if you can, that's really gonna contract the abs, so we do this move in our standing ab workouts. So again, any of those options will do. Really small, keeping the feet on the ground. A little higher, or touching. Up to you. Make sure you're breathing. Little twist, twist. Again, whatever speed you want, and whatever range of motion is working best for you. Four, breathe, three, two, and one, and we're gonna keep that motion. We're gonna add it hand to foot. So if you can, tap, tap. If that feels like too much, just, again, little rotation. Tap those heels in, just turn the heels in. But if you can, bring them up. And if you want, even take those hands high for a little more arm work. Up to you if you wanna increase that speed for a little more cardio or keep it nice and slow. We're all pretty tight in our hips, so I know this is a little bit of an awkward motion. That's why we need to do it. Good for that. Four, three, two, good. So just step out, shake that out. Good work, guys. So let's go to a little bit of a half squat. So hips go to the back. So watch me really slow it back and bring it up. You don't have to get very far. If you want to hold on to a chair or the back of the couch, or even sit down into the chair, that works too. Make sure you're breathing and breathe. And let's touch our, our top of our legs and reach it up. Touch, reach it up. Again, you decide. If you want to keep it really small, or if you want to get lower, you can even raise up onto those toes. Down and up. Small or a little bit bigger, just making sure you're breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Good, tap it out. And let's go a little hamstring curls. So I'm just bringing the heels up in the back, nice and easy. If you can, get them a little higher. And if you can, bring those elbows back. So kind of like our step touch in the beginning. And if you want a little extra, pull 
the hands a little higher. Shoulder level. We're so close to being done. And breathe. If you want even more, bring those hands high. So heels are still going behind you towards the glutes. Hands are pulling down. Heart rate's up on this one. You got it, guys, for four, three, make sure you're breathing, two, and one. Good, tap it out. So last thing, guys, little side knee raise. So if you want to grab onto a chair or the side of the wall and just do a little small elbow to knee. You can keep it just this small. If that foot can't come off the ground, just do a little side crunch, working the abs, but also our cardio. And if you want, make it a little bit bigger. And breathe, this is our last exercise. And if you don't need that hand on the couch or the wall, you can pull both hands over. It's up to you. Really small, supported, or both hands for four, three, two. Good, let's do the same thing, other side, and then we are done. So wall or couch if you need it. You can keep it small, just contract in the abs, or pull in a little bit more, a little bit bigger. Breathe. Good, guys, if you want both hands, if you don't need that extra support, totally fine if you do. For four, three, two, and just march it out. Good work, guys, you did it. Not bad, right? So you should have been feeling your heart rate getting up. Roll through those shoulders. If you need more, start the video over, do it again. It's a quick cardio workout. Roll those shoulders forward. And then just little taps of the heels in front. And as you get stronger and fitter, you can go up on those levels on this workout or advance to Cardio Blast or any of the other workouts on this channel. Big deep breath in. And out, one more time, and you did it. That was your low impact cardio workout. Great job, everybody.